Great. Well, hello and welcome, everyone. Uh, it is great to be with you uh, both here presently in a virtual setting and, and for any of those who will be tuning in later. Um, my name is Devin Vaughn. I use he, him, his pronouns. I work at the Center for Camps Involvement, and I'll be talking a little bit about that office. Uh, and I'll also be talking about what you see on the screen, uh, how to get involved, um, specifically looking at student organizations and events on campus. Um, but happy to talk about any of those other uh, ways that you're interested in getting involved as well. A lot of opportunities, which can be a little overwhelming. So hopefully we'll I'll leave you with four really great action steps um, once you're done with this webinar on how to get involved once you're on campus. Um, if you've got any questions, just a few housekeeping things. So if you do have questions, uh, there should be a, a Q&A open. So feel free to drop those questions in as we're going through. I'll answer them sort of periodically as I'm moving through the content, um, or I'll also be able to answer those at the end. So feel free to do that too. Um, I'll also try to add a couple of the links, which will be on the screen, but I'll also try to add them into the chat. So great, let's uh, start by just talking a little bit about what the Center for Campus Involvement is. Uh, so it's an office here on um, uh, the central campus of the University of Michigan. We comprise a lot of different things. So you can see on the screen several images in this montage, including uh, performances. Uh, we've got student organizations. Uh, we've got spaces. We're physically located in the Michigan Union on the third mezzanine floor, which is a little tricky to find, but you can also uh, chat with any of our staff in the IDEA Hub, which is on the second floor of the Michigan Union as well. Our main goal is to help folks um, find community and develop those lifelong memories that uh, being in college can really offer. So we are very, very excited to be able to talk about how do you get involved. Um, specifically, we've got a lot of things under the Center for Camps Involvement, including over 1,600 student organizations. I think the last time I checked on Friday, we were at 1,616 active organizations. So these organizations, they range from the, uh, I think we just started or restarted the Squirrel Watching Club. Uh, we've got academic organizations, we've got fraternities and sororities, we've got, um, you know, the casual gaming club, anything that you might be interested in. We also host um, more than 300 events throughout the academic year. Um, there's large and small events, a variety of different ways and, and types, uh, that whatever you might be interested in, we're, we're able to uh, host at least something that might be interesting to you. And we also will have access to a lot of the other events that are going on campus, and I'll show you how to get in contact with those. So as we're starting to look at some of these things, let's talk about four different ways that you can get involved. The first one here you can see is attending a program. So within the Center for Camps Involvement, you can see we host four types of organizations. Primarily, we've got community building events, uh, one of which is the UMix Late Night. You see in the top left image. Um, this is held every other Friday night with lots of free activities, giveaways, stuff a plush, uh, roller rinks, laser tag, anything that might sound like a lot of fun uh, is hosted throughout the year. We do, uh, we host uh, 17 student organizations who put on large performances. Um, we host pep rallies, events on the Diag, and then once it gets a little chilly, we're back in the Michigan Union, as well as up at Deer Pond Commons on North Campus and the Michigan Lee on uh, Central Campus, just north of the Diag. We uh, last year hosted a large concert, but there will be uh, large concerts each year as well. Uh, artists to be determined, um, but we like to bring some uh, some slightly large uh, uh, acts to campus as we move throughout the academic year. And then all of our organizations are putting out events as well. So we've got uh, acapella performances. Uh, we've got Groove, which is a, uh, a musical performance group that is, you know, uh, creating music out of random uh, objects, trash cans, uh, sticks, pipes, all that fun stuff. So lots of interesting things. 
And you can see on the screen the website events.umich.edu. Um, and I'm actually going to send that. Um, yeah, if you just type that into your browser, you'll be able to stay up to date with all the events happening on camp. Um, this is where all of our events will be posted, as well as those from student organizations and other university departments. I'll also at the end of my uh, presentation have our website where you can sign up for our newsletter so you never miss anything. Uh, and thanks for uh, sharing that out as well. Our second suggestion is to find a community with a student organization. So again, we've got lots of different student organizations and it can be a bit overwhelming to find the one that's right for you. So I encourage you to think about what it is that interests you. Um, is there a social activity that you've enjoyed uh, in your time so far that you would like to meet and hang out with other people who are uh, enjoy that same activity? Whether that's equestrian or cards, knitting or watching The Bachelor, you've got organizations from all those different varieties and different types. Um, you can see images on the screen from our cheerleading team. We've got an acapella group. We've got social gathering groups as well as community engagement and activism groups as well. Um, you're also able to create your own organization. We typically have around 100 to 150 organizations that are founded each year um, by folks just like you who are looking to find others who are interested in what you're interested in. The first place to look um, if you want to find those organizations is the website you'll see on the screen. Um, it is campusinvolvement.umich.edu slash article slash get dash involved. It's a bit of a mouthful, um, but that's going to be a main source where you can find a few different resources. The first of which is Maze Pages. Uh, so if you want to head directly there, that's mazepages.umich.edu. That is the source, the list of every single student organization on campus. Um, if you go to the organizations page there, you'll be able to use those keywords that you are interested in. If it is say um, biomedical engineering that you're interested in, you type that into the search bar and you'll see uh, a curated list of organizations that work with just that variety of engineering. Um, so I encourage you to head there um, take a look at those various organizations that you might be interested in. And there's an email address for each of those organizations. So you can reach out and even get connected before you get to campus. Um, we also, if that sounds overwhelming, on that same website that was just shared, you can sign up for an involvement drop-in throughout the summer or throughout the academic year, where you'll meet one-on-one -on -one with folks like myself or folks on my team to be able to talk through what you're interested in and what organizations or other resources might be right for you uh, to help you get connected to. So feel free to even uh, explore that now. If you want to get the jump on uh, finding those organizations, or uh, you're, you can do that whenever feels most comfortable. Speaking of student organizations, uh, another great opportunity to get connected right off the bat is going to be our Festival event, which will be taking place at the days and times you see on the screen. So we'll be having a smaller fest, which is a student org fair uh, on Tuesday, August 30th, going from 5 to 8 p.m. We'll have those student organizations on North Campus on the Gerstacker Grove, and they're going to be hanging out at tables where you can just walk along, see what those organizations do, and if they sound interesting, talk to an organization leader to get signed up. So really low stakes. There's a lot of great giveaways as well. It's hard to walk away from it without a t-shirt or some random uh, piece of Michigan swag. So you're, uh, it's a, just a fun activity to walk through. We also have Festival Central, which is our largest org fair. In fact, it's one of our largest events throughout the year. It'll be taking place on the 1st of September from 2.30 to 5, and another set of organizations will be showing up from 6 to 8.30 that evening. And so you can expect to find over 600, close to 700 student organizations at that event too. So a couple opportunities uh, just to show up, find an organization or two that sounds interesting, and uh, get connected really quickly. 
The fourth suggestion I'm going to provide to you is talking about the welcome programming in general. So Festival, which we identified, is um, part of the Welcome to Michigan programming. Uh, and this is just a great opportunity. So if you're new to campus uh, or returning, a lot of these events will be open for anyone to drop in. Um, you'll be getting lots of information about these events as you approach the start of the semester. Um, but there'll be picnics, there'll be uh, pep rallies, there will be fun activities, lots of free food. So a great opportunity to begin to meet and build some of those connections and relationships as you make your way onto campus for the first time or for the second time or, or maybe for the hundredth time. You've got lots of different opportunities there, including festival, but a lot of other fun events as well. And lastly, I just wanna provide a couple of links and ways that you can stay connected to a lot of these resources and events. You can see a couple of websites. So the Center for Campus Involvement's website that I represent, you can see is campusinvolvement.umich.edu. Um, you can see our Facebook, our Twitter, and our Instagram as well. So if you wanna follow us for all of those fun events uh, and stay up to date in that way, and you can also email us with any questions that you might have uh, at uminvolvement at umich.edu. And that's another great opportunity. Um, if you've got particular questions or you just want to, you know, get a little extra support, we've got a team of folks who are there to be able to help as well. So those are just a few of the ways uh, to get involved. Again, um, you get to sort of find your way uh, and find what's best for you, whether that's research, whether that's a living learning community and housing, um, or whether that is a student organization or events on campus, but um, lots of great support as you go through that process as well. So I'm gonna pause here. I didn't see any questions come in so far, but let me open the floor in case you were holding on to that question and you wanted to have answered about any of these resources that I've shared so far, best student organizations, events on campus, or welcome to Michigan, uh, or uh, if there's something that I didn't cover that would be helpful. Let me just pause for a moment and open up that uh, question and answer for anything that you might have. As I'm waiting for questions, I'll also note that um, the work that I do, again, relates to student organizations and events on campus. Uh, I'm also an alum who went through a lot of these same processes and found a challenging time trying to find community. And that's why I think that this is so important to be able to find those communities, those student organizations, those events, um, where you find that small community, those people that might share an interest, a major or a passion that you also have. Um, that's a great place to start to build those connections to help this very large university feel a little bit smaller for you. So yeah, uh, if you don't have any questions, uh, feel free. Um, I also can be reached at that email address on the screen. So feel free to drop me a line at uminvolvement at umich.edu. Do you have any other questions? Otherwise, I believe we are all set. If there uh, is anything else, Again, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day.